Hello everyone. In the previous video, we set up our dashboard, login, register, and redirect property, right? So now the time is to uh, know we added the database layer, right? And we also added the logout register and stuff like that. So here I'm going to uh, logged in into the dashboard, and then I'm going to. Oh, it's not going to log in. I think it would be email would be this one, right? So I'm going to log in into the dashboard and here I'm going to create a form where I'm going to uh, I'm going to create my post. So first I need to create a route where I'm going to add my form. So here let's uh, add another uh, route. I'm going to add route and this route would be uh, odd slash post. Okay, and then I'm going to add a post controller here. So I'm going to create a resource controller if you are not familiar with the resource controller. So whenever you are creating the controller, so we need to uh, make the uh, add the um, resource flag. So it will create the resource controller with the index create and these methods are already defined. So you need to create, no need to create them. So basically it's uh, easy for us to, if we are building the CRUD application, we don't need to, and we add them. So here I'm going to make a controller and in the auth I'm going to create the post controller okay with the resource. Hit enter. Okay let me type the resource full then it's going to create this controller. Okay it's created and here now I'm going to I'm going to create this for the post to I'm going to create the resource uh, route right so resource okay and then I need to define the post for the post and here I need to define the auth slash post and here I need to define the post controller post controller and I don't need to mention it array or any method because I also need, don't need to mention the name because I added this with the resource one and if you want to check that which are the routes are added so you can check this by php or tsun route list sun route list okay it's opening login route password fail and stuff like that but 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 it's not opening oh it's r slash uh, r slash post for the get r slash post r slash post like get right, and stuff like that so it's added all of the routes i will explain uh, these uh, when i'm implementing them then one okay so first i'm going to open this r slash post right so here i need to type this r slash post so basically i'm going to open the index method of our post controller right so let's go to this post controller and in the index it's opening this one right so here i can return this some um, string for testing that we are opening the exact page save this one and get refresh and yes we are opening this exact one so now i want to open the here view right view and which view so i want to open the uh, let's go here in the resources views and in the auth i want to create a post directory because i want to create the post for the administrator and then i want to add this uh, here um, an index dot uh, or first i'm going to create this with the create dot blade dot php so here i'm going to open this out to uh, create okay it will be uh, auth why my text editor is not suggesting me dot uh, post dot create right so it's going to open this create blade so here i'm going to extend my master layout so this would be an auth and here i'm going to render my own one in the section so and section so this would be a post to create form save this one and let's visit this route and yes it's opening the route and it's displaying that post create form and this would be a footer so whenever we will add the uh, with the 10 columns so it will be added in the bottom right so 
and let's uh, visit our uh, theme template so I have extracted it to uh, here now let's uh, visit the other pages here and this pages contain the forms and here I'm going to copy this basic element so basically this contains some form so I need uh, this form this full form right so here let's uh, now I'm going to open this out in the new tab like this okay let's uh, skip the nav bar and then copy all of the things from there because we want to render our content not the header and uh, other forms so before this footer okay here so now let's uh, close this out and go here and here I'm going to add this out so let's remove this one and paste this out save this one and now let's get fresh and take eye on this okay it's added the uh, nav bar also I think I copied it twice time so let me go there yes it's uh, we added this here on nav bar also so let me remove this nav bar from there so here is the nav bar okay it's here let's remove the nav bar i added this uh, twice time so sorry guys okay so i remove this out and this one is also save this one now let's get refresh and yes now it's working fine and we need to it's everything working fine right so i'm going to let me uh, let me open this out is it uh, exactly what we are looking for yes it's pretty same okay so let's close them here so i need to remove the above one right i want to find this basic element so let's go here and find the basic element and above one i want to remove the above one so let me check that yes so this one contain a row i want to remove uh, this one and above one also so let's do uh, this out this row so now let's go here and after this uh, input input size so I want to remove this input size too and there are some stuff okay let's cut them out because we need only one form now let's get refresh and uh, yes we have one form but I Cut some div here that's why it's behaving like this so if I go here there are two divs but there are mm -hmm -hmm. I did some mistakes so that's why it's behaving like this so let me uh, put it again here so now let's get refresh oh I did some mistake before this one I cut some raw hair now let's get refresh and also let me check the video size no it's not going bigger okay so I need this basic form elements right let me hide this out basic form to remove this out let's get refresh yes now it's visible and after this it's added this input let me remove this uh, input sum of two that it's affecting or not okay it's not affecting so let me remove other ones like we did 
previously. Okay, save them and give it a refresh and check that everything is working fine. And yes, everything is working fine. So now I want to rename something here that basically I'm going to create this for the post. That's why I need to add something here. First, I need to add the title. So I'm going to add the uh, post. Okay, and then here I'm going to also add the in the post on to create post create post basic element is this one and to create a post and i'm going to remove this thing now let's save this one create post post and now it looks fine so here this would contain a title description and stuff like that so we are going to add them here so our video size is not going bigger so let me do it here oops no it's not cut it out okay so first uh, very first is this would be a title okay and this one should be also a key of title so let me add the placeholder here let me move this out add the placeholder of a title and then second what uh, we need this we need the let me visit the database post and then we need the we need the category image uh, category and then title description is published so we need these two drop down so here i'm going to add the select okay so this select could be responsible for loss form control so here i need the option and then this option should be disabled because i want to a user should go select something from here so name this choose uh, option and in this choose option i'm going to display all of the categories right categories or you can say that only category not categories so this one display here we are going to display the dynamic categories here so first uh, and let me copy this out because i'm going to reuse it here in this input field okay paste this out and i'm going to make this uh, for the uh, is publish or you can say that uh, published save this one and here you need to uh, add uh, something that uh, is published or not so uh, first i'm going to set this uh, publish option okay and then second i want to set this so uh, zero for draft draft okay so now this one we are going to send this publish for one and draft for zero and here let me name this is uh, publish okay and let me remove some other things and uh, here let me name this uh, category Okay, and remove this for the example one remove this thing okay so now it's a uh, thing for form control is published category and here we will display the category in a few minutes it would be uh, here we need to make a file chooser so it's added so it's uh, this one and I need to remove some other stuff from there okay and remove this cancel button save this one and let's get refresh okay so now it is playing the title uh, category a publish and a file upload and then we need uh, one more here we need one more thing so what we are going to add this here we are going to basically add a description so description 
and here I'm going to use this uh, text area and in the text area I'm going to use uh, you can use the simple text area or you can use the editor here so for now i'm going to use a simple one and i will also tell you that how many uh, uh, text area or exists so there would be a summer note editor so we can view it that it will add a rich text editor for you summer note there would be uh, uh, many more for for editing your things so it will basically add editor like this so you can bold your text or you can underline your text and stuff like that so you can do this like this so uh, let me also make this uh, text area like this summer note so you can learn that uh, how to add this summer note and here i'm going to name this uh, description and uh, class would be the farm control which is a bootstrap class farm control save this one and uh, let's go here and get refresh okay so now this contain the description so let me add text editor here so i'm going to use this summer note so let's so click on this get started and example so first we need to grab the cdn for this summer note and then we can apply this on the summer note okay so the cdn would be the let me go here download compiled and these are the cdn so this one bootstrap so jquery we already added this jquery and bootstrap and then this would be a summer note uh, script and javascript so first i'm going to copy the summer note uh, uh, summer note style sheet so how you can render your style sheet into the master one right so let me check the video size our video size is going bigger so in the next video i'm going to start from here that uh, how you can add your style sheet from the child blade to master blade so i will meet you in the next one and if you like this video please uh, subscribe the youtube channel and share this video with your friend and support me then i will shoot more video more series like this one so thank you bye bye